at it, he's looking at it from a different angle, I think. And I think you guys need to collaborate and get on the same on the same one, you know? Uh, or at least get on, yeah, this is good. This Look, is I good. tell you what, he does it his way, I do it my way, and let's see what happens. Right, right now, right. money just has to come in. All right, so Terry, I just came back in, but you can. You can do it that way, and that's the same way David's been doing it, and we can see what David happens. hasn't even done it yet. No, actually, he And has. we're not going to do no. David's plan either. We're cutting the budget in half. That's what the issue is, Terry. No. It's the so issue so is, is so I'm going to start it this way, period. Listen, that's it. You do your, your way, way, and let's see what happens. Hear me out. Okay? No, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to. the issue. You sound like David. No, this is like how. David. Because oh, I, I, you know, I'm fuck I'm David. I sound like somebody who's already done this before is what I've I sound like. The last six years, Terry, and have been extremely successful. I'm talking about other networks that I was on did this. Right, and, and, where, and, and, and are you on them now? And I left those. Them? No, I left them. Right, so, and, and where, and, and, and are they, are they still making those money? See, here's what I'm telling you, Terry. I know what I'm doing. If you just listen to me for 10 seconds, you can go ahead and sell commercial spots at $5 a spot, give them 20 things a month, and tell them they owe you $200, okay? That's fine. Guess what happens after that first month? They're not going to give you... You so have to have them commit for three months. You can't show any chart without showing them a three-month progress. That's right. pure. That's standard. Right. Okay. You so don't sell it by the month. You sell it by three months. And they know that. That's that's the, that's the industry standard. Well, after 90 days, they quit. And to be honest, if they don't see a return... No, you don't know that yet. Have you done this before? Yes. I For the last six fucking years, Terry. Norflat knows... He knows too. I've been doing this for the last six years. I have done online marketing. For but the last this is this is internet radio advertising. It's, online, it's still online. No, marketing. no, it's it's you know like like like. And have you know, done you internet radio internet advertising radio. before? All internet radio is based on one formula: fifty cents per thousand views. Casper right now gets four thousand views a day. That's fifty cents per. Th he's up to two dollars. He can sell a radio ad for two dollars a spot. That is what he can legally get. That is what he can manufacture. So it's then he sells a radio um, advertising spot for two dollars per spot per thirty second spot. If he does a minute, he can do four. That's that's where he's at based on his numbers. Okay, it's, fine. It's like, you know what? I mean, but you know, you, you like like the, like even the people that we're advertising to like doesn't aren't, aren't necessarily so obsessed with like you know the, the the numbers but let's let's do this you tell people that are already in the in the in the cannabis industry right he's like look we're starting out these are our first numbers he told me he did tell me this he said they got we got twenty thousand downloads over twenty thousand downloads in a five week time period but it's this this, what this, this no this, 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 but these are good numbers already they That's already stuff. indicate they already indicate that so they're so growing the into big numbers aren't paying for advertising. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. A off. And you have to do the wording correctly or you're going to get in trouble. And I know this. And I, this is what I tried to tell David. David's out there begging for money. He is basically doing paper Kickstarters and GoFundMe pages where he's like, please, if you donate, this is what his paperwork says, if you gift or donate, right, X amount of dollars, we will give you X amount of pro, uh, promotions in return, and they're calling it advertisement. That's not advertisement. That's sponsors. You know, if I have a – listen, Jerry, if you have a sponsor for a comedy show and they sponsor you, their name goes on the flyer, Look, right? I have a radio show, and you know what happens on radio shows? People sell advertising for it. I've worked on other different networks where they've sold advertising on it, and that network still exists. That's New Dissident Radio. New Dissident Radio sells their advertising, and they're still there. So don't tell me that I don't know anything about what I'm talking that this other paradigm doesn't work. Look, I'm willing to, like, like, like why do we have to have one, one, only one model? You do your model. Let's do my model. Let's put them together and see what happens. Flat, say something. Explain, explain. Okay, ask me this, North Flat. If I came to you and said, hey, I really need money for this show. It's going to take off. Give me some money, but don't expect any return. Okay? There's no return to you. Just give me some money. Would you consider that an advertising spot or a sponsorship? Because just like Rent RV, they gave us the, the RV, right? That wasn't ad, that wasn't for advertising. That was a sponsorship. That's a write-off for him. If it's advertising, it's not. 
You can't, you have to be very clear in how you word and do things. Yeah, but what are they going to get? I mean, what are they expecting to get from it that we can't, like... That's a great question. Even if they put a commercial on, what do they expect to get, Terry? Right now, on... It's, Here's it's, what they can expect. Here's what they can expect. And, let, and hear me out on this, okay? What they can expect is, is that their advertisement is going to be archived way past their time, their airtime date would have ever like, so it's, so basically they're going to have a, a, an advertisement that will pay itself over again. Right. Well, okay. No, no, selling no, a future commercial. no, I, I am selling a future commercial because that's what happens because that's what happens. That's what, no, please, Kevin, let me finish my thought. If you want me to listen to what you have to say, then please listen to what I have to say. Other than, other than I'm just being bashed down into like, in, into... You're in, not being bashed down. It's just, you guys, the problem is... No, you're not you're listening to my side of the story. And therefore, I don't feel, you know, what, I'm, I'm too tired for this. I had it all day yesterday. No, I, so am I. You know what I mean? It's like... The story was we're going to sell this based on an idea. There's no money involved. We're going to take money and give them no return. No, Kevin, you can't just sit here and say what we're going to do and not going to do because you're not the only deciding factor in everything. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it, it you know what? Nobody wants to give money, especially a startup company. I, I want to give you, I'm starting my own business. I want to give you guys money for advertising, but even though I'm not going to get a return until later down the road. That would, that, that's not going to happen. Who's to say it's I not going to happen in three months? He's already got a following from his show beforehand. And, you know, this well, is a very clickish like, industry. People, you're them. talking about an industry that knows him, that knows his media. But you're talking about he already has a reputation with, like, almost everybody who's anybody in this, in the, in the marijuana, like, movement. I have the numbers, and they're not there. They're not there, Terry. And that's they're exactly not there on the paper that you're looking at. Doesn't there's other types of numbers going on here? No, I'm getting the I'm getting the actual all media numbers. No, I, I'm talking I, about his reputation that people may actually like invest that way. You know, look, I don't want to just. I'm not going to agree with you tonight, and what I don't like about this is that you do not take the time to let me finish my side of the story. You interrupt with yours all the whole time. Therefore, this is exhausting for me. I don't want to smoke marijuana right now. I'm on my fucking period, okay? I will smoke marijuana in my own peace and fucking time, and I really don't feel like continuing this on the, uh, in the energy that it's happening. Now, I'll tell you what. That man was crying to me today. I don't give a fuck, but and, I'm going to make I'm some goddamn my, phone I'm calls and get some fucking money in our pockets. Right, and I'm building, yeah. And, and I, you know, I'm, I'm doing it tomorrow with the what I know how to do. Now, if you get on the phone and you do what you do, then fucking do it. I don't have to get on the phone. Well, whatever you're going to do, do it. I am doing it. Well, then I'm going to do what I know what to do as I know it because I don't understand your plan and I don't necessarily like like all of it either. Because business is, is hard for some people to understand because you have to take your emotions. Yeah, but you're not doing anything yet. Really? I've got more. I've got more. I have two fucking pages built. One on GoFundMe and one on Kickstarter that are fucking solid. I've been using the information that was given to me by David, which the numbers that David was giving to fucking Casper were coming off his goddamn news websites, not Casper's. I had to go through and decipher this. I've done all the fucking work. I've spent fucking two days on this computer, Terry, doing the work, okay, crunching the numbers, doing the facts, running the formulas. I have come up with a, a beautiful way to fix this, to try to help Casper. I'm doing, I'm doing a ton of shit. Casper's problem is, is he's been sending out notes to people asking for advertising money that basically look like donations. They're saying, please advertise on a network that won't give you any money back. It literally, read them. If you've gone through them, they basically say that they have not, they don't have these numbers, and then the numbers when they do cheese them up don't come from Time for Hemp. They come off of a fucking news website that David runs. Okay, so that's bullshit. So you're selling people bullshit just off the paperwork that Casper gives you. If you send that to somebody, if I ran a business and somebody sent that sent that to me, I would go, what, what, fuck this, and I would throw it away. Well, we don't send that to him. That's that's not a good thing to do. But the fact that you can steal that doesn't negate the fact that an advertising well, is not that like the advertising there's won't there's work. A difference between getting donation and sponsorship. No, because the donations aren't like really working either. Look, I just had a conversation with Roxy Lopez today about how like they're doing these donation deals. 
Yes. You, know, you know, I mean, yeah, but not, it, it, it doesn't, it, it, it's not, it's not working. The people that produce the shows are working for free. It's not enough money. I understand. Hey, I'm not doing this for free. I'm sorry, but you know what? I've been all up all fucking night, all around the clock. Unless I get some sort of dollars with this, I can't even do it. Nobody wants to do this for free. No, I'm not doing it for free. And I have been waiting for a very long time to sell advertising for my show. Okay, and well, I feel that so, I can do it now based on what I can prove is possible for these people who are making their money off of. Yes, and and right. I've already been doing, I've already sold some of that when I did, I did when we did Ganja Palooza. Right. So I know people that are in this industry will put out money for it and they'll let you make a video for them and they'll let you put it even just to your social networking, they'll pay money for that. Okay, they will, I've done it. Well, you know what? That that's a that's a hard hustle, and you know, it wasn't right? hard. I okay. wasn't hard at all. I did it quite quickly. Okay, because nobody. It wasn't else hard. I I researched my industry and I made a phone call. Nobody else on the Time for Hemp Network has been able to accomplish this yet. Well, because nobody's done it yet. Well, why they? Just because he told me that there hasn't even been, hardly been any phone calls made yet. Because David hasn't done shit yet. Listen, if you if I were to make phone calls tomorrow, the numbers don't justify what he wants me to ask for. Yo, and I know how to ask for it. I know how to I know how to sell it. Okay. I don't I'm looking I'm I know how to sell it differently. Oh, okay. Well yeah, you can sell it sell it that way. If an ad if somebody says, Hey, I have money for advertising, I wanna give you, I don't care if I get it back, go for it. Because that business model will never work. It won't last very long. You might get some money real quick. Like it I will because pe because businesses know about social networking. And, and guess what? They'll be advertised on my Hollywood Hemptress Hour page. They'll be advertised on my timeline. I'll be putting advertisements, you know, on every single thing. I'll, it'll be going through my Twitter day in and day out. It'll be on my YouTube channel. And it's going to be on their show. And it's going to be archived. So, yeah, they're going to get their money's worth because they're going to have more than one channel of advertising in a lot of different mediums. And that's what I'm selling to people. Yeah, well, and, you know, it's a, maybe it's a new concept. Maybe it's a new concept, and I'm going to see if it concept. works or not. You, 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 if that was the case, you could do that without the radio show because you could just say, I have my Twitter account and spaces for hire. People already do that, but they don't. It's not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna pay your bills, Terry. Listen, there's two. There, if you want to pay your bills, there's two ways to do this. No, you know what? I think it can money. pay my bills. Why don't you let me try it and see if it works I or will. not? I will. let you try it. Okay. Go yeah, because I'm it. gonna try it whether you let me or not. I'm not. Well, I don't care what you do. You can do what you want. You're a grown woman, Terry. I'm just saying. Do you guys want me to keep doing what I'm fucking I doing? I do want that? you to keep doing what you're doing, but I, like, like, why, why don't you just, why don't we just do what we're gonna do and see what happens? What is wrong with that? Go for it. Make calls. I'm gonna let you make calls. Go for it. Because if you, it, 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 go for it, make calls. Because honestly, there's a difference between sponsors and advertisers and people in business. I'm not at. Whatever you know, I mean, we can call them. We can call them sponsors if they want us to call them sponsors. Then maybe we we'll just call them sponsors. But their sponsorships is going to get them a lot of advertisement. It's going to get them a lot of advertisement. It has the potential to give them a lot of advertisement, and that's why we're going to cut it in half and give them a deal. And then we're going to tell them if like it's good, then they don't. Their rates will never raise. If they get on the ground floor and take a risk with us, then we will not like they like and they stay with us. Then and that's what they're going to have. When your Once, show builds and you get all these viewers, now you have commercial spots worth a ton of money. Fine. And selling for you dirt. know, I mean, but we don't have our whole schedule filled up either, and obviously not all of them are going to stay. So we're still theoretically speaking in terms of like possibilities. Right. And and okay. And if I was well, an no, Terry's just trying to save the fucking show. I understand. I, I mean, that's so am I. I understand it. And like right now, the issue is, is they need startup money. Okay, the numbers aren't there. Okay, then get the startup money. But I'm still going to make my same phone calls. I'm going to do my plan. You do your plan. Let's do both. Why is that a problem? Because if you have those people, you're going to burn them out. You're going to burn them right now. You'll get okay, well, let's see if that happens. Let's see. You know what? What? I'm going to burn three or four people, maybe. Fine. I might bore, you know, do you know how big this industry is? Huge. 
right? But you don't you don't want to burn your contacts, especially people. Like I have people right now. That you know I, what? If I'm honest with them and I tell them, like you know, because I know people in this industry that may be interested in doing this. I already have personal contacts that may be interested in doing this. Yes, and I if, and if I'm honest with them about it and it's stuff like that, you know, then then they know I'm on the level with them that maybe they're they maybe they're probably you know they may know you know hey this is a risk, but here's here's the benefits to it. Do you want to come on board? You know what I mean? I mean like like let's let me let me let me see if it works first. I'm not. I've had this dream for a long time, Kevin. I've written this down. No, I have this down on paper. I've already like mapped it out. So I'm first gonna do it. I'm gonna yeah. do it, and I don't think if I fail on it, then I fail on it. Fine, but I'm still gonna do it. Word the same conversation I almost had, and, it, and basically it's not whether you fail. It's that you, I understand you have a dream, and that's your dream. But you gotta you, when you have a dream, like I had. I, no, I, Kevin. No, I'm not gonna. I don't want to hear any more about it. About oh, I already get your point. Definitely. So why can't you respect mine right now? I do respect yours. Okay, then let's leave it alone. You do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do tomorrow. You can do it. Fine. You can do it. We're good. How you doing with that cigarette? I was going to light it, but then I realized that I just lit one, and I just put one out, and yeah, no, I think I'm not going to light it just yet, and keep it from getting all wet on the end, but um, well, I'm going to smoke a bowl, I think, another bowl. Yeah, I got one right here. I'm working on my third. Yeah, I think, I think basically, Kevin, A, you should send Terry that whole conversation with David so that she has access to look at the number, the same thing that you're looking at, the same thing that I looked at. Right. Okay, I think that Terry should have that, that same string of information. Even if I do, even if I give it to her, like, because this, this is the issue that I, this is the only thing I was having. It's okay for Terry to do what she wants to do. I was just saying, even though I give her that information, she's still basing it off of emotion and off of her, and I'm like, and that's the issue when it comes to numbers. That's fine. No, I, I don't think it's I'm totally gonna... basing it on, on emotion. I'm basing it on my own past experience in the industry that I've been doing shows in for two years. Okay, or three Okay, I, I, I'm basing it on the um, connections that I have in the hemp and the cannabis industry and the people I know and how it works. And I'm basing it on my own personal experience that I feel that I have some personal insight on. Okay, so, you know, so, you know I mean, like, I mean, I, I also on the entertainment industry in which I know that that's how these things break down. I've been working in internet radio since like 1998 or 90, like I think it was 98. I worked for Comedy World with John Mellicar. Okay, so it's not like I don't come with some knowledge, Kevin. Yeah. I'm not saying you don't come with knowledge. Well, I, I feel like I'm being treated as if I don't. And then I can't even like explain like, like what I know and what I know to be possible. Uh. I, all right, I, you know, I, I, you know, I'm just saying, that's fine, you know what, it could, you know, you can sell a dream, but my issue is, I'm not that. selling a dream, I'm selling some knowledge, too, as well, come on, I, man, I, and you I, know I, what, I'm tired I, of this, I don't even want to have this I, I, conversation anymore, I'd rather just, like, end the night and go, and just start over tomorrow, to an advertiser, you'd be selling a dream, though, because you're telling them that if they give you advertising money, it'll be, it'll be archived, and later, they'll be able to make money off of it, you're telling them to give you money for future money. You know that. You know that. You know what ends up happening. Twenty thousand downloads a month in five weeks. When a, when it when it when it when it when a company just starts up on the internet for the first time is really good they numbers. They didn't have that many. I no, they the did. Money. That's what no. that's what Casper told me, and it's on his this GoDaddy account. Did you look at his GoDaddy account? A different website. That's what something else about. happened that didn't allow him to like do something, and he didn't have something turned on right or something like that. He, there's you got to talk to Casper about it because I do believe that he's getting about 
about 20,000 downloads. And that makes sense to me. With the amount of shows that he has in five weeks, 20,000 downloads. I know from like like from New Dissident Radio what their numbers were. That, and that was why David was trying to sell cross-marketing through his websites for him because he doesn't have the hits. And all the numbers David was feeding him came from a different website. And I have the, I have well, all it the doesn't, in writing. It doesn't have, matter, have, you know, because, you know, I already know people that already sold advertising on shows already in this industry that had zero numbers okay and, you know i mean like we're not we're not talking like you know something first of all you know this is i think there there might be a possibility to get some people that can, are visionaries too and willing to contribute a certain amount of money so that we're able to keep like his lights on. He doesn't go homeless. Absolutely. Sasha gets paid, I and like I that. start to get some money I because I that. can't go on this wheel much longer like Harry, this. Harry, I understand. There's so ways. I'm making some fucking There's, money, Kevin, and I'm well, gonna go I, with I, what I know. I agree with that. I agree with it. It's okay to make the phone calls. It's okay to get. You're not. That's what I'm trying to say. It's okay to do it. But if we're gonna do it, do it correct. Don't call them up and say we're selling advertising space because we're not we what we are looking yes for. i am selling them a commercial no. yes because i've done it already yeah, on atomic work. comedy I, so and you, you know i mean i already did it kevin you just said these companies want to give us money to keep the lights on no, I'm not going to say that to them, but I've already sold this type of a form of this advertising, and I have the videos to prove it and tell people what it looks like, too. All right, well, you know... Um, you know what? I mean, I've already done it. I've already made money doing it, so don't tell me that people won't give me money for it, and it wasn't even a continuous show. They didn't even have results to have proven for anything. They just did it. And I and, and my results are are insane. My, you know what I'm saying? Well, go for I it. Let's go get it. some results. Look, you know, let right, me get I, some it, money I, in here right away, so right, we well, can keep going. Because if we don't, it's gonna like it's lights out, man. Burns. That just you know the the thing the problem that's that's the issue with he started a startup company with no funds. Okay, he needs angels. So what? Sponsors. So there's so we so we do what we have to do. I had a hawk a ring to pay my rent. Do I have to sell a few advertising spots and the way I'm gonna sell them? Yes, maybe I do. And you know what? Maybe it'll all work out. Maybe. Let's find out. Go for it. Sell them. Yeah, sell them. you know, you're sell still market. like giving me this like oh go for it, go for it, go sell them, well, go sell them, go sell them. Go sell them. I want you know, I, yeah, I don't get I mean I you know thank you for you know, I mean like I don't have these numbers. I have, and you're going to give them numbers because you're going to tell them, well, we have this many downloads, but that's not true. And you're lying. I'm I mean, not look, lying. I'm, that's what I'm Casper kidding. told me tonight. How do I know I'm not lying? I'll ask Casper I, to show me the paperwork. Yes, I have them too. I have them. From his GoDaddy account. You have, have them from his GoDaddy account? Do you have them from there? No, I have Because that's what he said he was quoting from. Yeah, and no, he doesn't. And his is done through, and his website's done through an RSS feed through these other Or websites. maybe it was Screecher. I don't know. I mean, you know what? I have it. I have it. Hold on. So what? I can show it. I'm going to give it to you so you can see what I'm talking about. I have to get it out from you, Norplat. Well, let me find out. You know what? I'm tired. I don't want to go through this anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm done for tonight, Kevin. I'm Seven. done.